Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Mary Ann. And Mary Ann's holding the camera today because Ralph's working. But uh, I've got the day off and I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving, um, which is just two days away. Um, so, of course, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or really any time, we love our turkey around here, don't we, honey? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And um, so uh, we're going to make Thanksgiving, the turkey for Thanksgiving, and yes, we're making it a couple days early. Um, and we do that uh, sometimes. Now, I've done turkey every way. I've done it. With, I brined it and I have uh, had it fried and of course cooked it the traditional way roasting in the oven um, and basting and all of that and all good methods. Here's what we're doing today, Mayor. We're doing turkey in a bag. So some of you may have seen these. These are cooking bags. Um, and this is what we're going to be, how we're going to be doing the turkey today. And here's why. One, I have a very old stove that's not self-cleaning, right, Mare? Yes. And so, and the oven is nice and clean, and I want to keep it that way. You want to dirty up your oven? The quickest way to do that is just roast a turkey in it, and you'll see how messy it gets. Um, so using the bag really it, it saves the oven from being uh, all splattered uh, but on top of that cleanup is great so that is worth something and the other thing is my experience using bags are it really makes for a very moist turkey um, because I think it keeps a lot of the steam in right the moisture doesn't evaporate out of the stove um, and so that's another reason we're doing it. Now, I don't know how Thanksgiving is at your house or Christmas. Let me tell you how it goes down around here. I, we don't have the big, I come out with the turkey on the platter, you know, the Norman Rockwell scene and everybody's at the table. What I usually have is a house full of people and everybody's hungry. And when it's time to eat, they stampede to the buffet where all the food is laid out and we people help themselves. So for me, it's such a relief to wake up in the morning on Thanksgiving or Christmas and know the turkey's already done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roast the turkey, we're gonna carve it, we're gonna put it um, in some nice turkey broth and it's gonna go in the refrigerator. And then come Thanksgiving morning on Thursday, all I've gotta do is pop it in the oven and have it rewarmed through. And it's moist and ready to serve, all sliced up and, and good to go. So, here's what we've got. Here, Mayor, take a look at our turkey. And this one is about a 21 pounder, okay? Um, so what I've done is I've uh, rinsed it, I've patted it dry, I've trimmed a few things. I trim sort of the turkey tail end here. I trim that off and uh, trim some of the excess skin. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this baby ready to go into the oven, which is preheated to 375 degrees. Um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to kind of season it up. So I've got some salt here and I'm going to start mare actually inside the cavity. I like to put a little salt in and then we're going to put a little pepper or maybe a lot of pepper and we like pepper don't we? Yes we do. And then of course our friend poultry seasoning. We're going to put a little of that in. Okay so now what we're going to do, I'm using this tray to kind of hold it together here. Now we'll do the outside of the bird. Again a nice generous pepper and put some salt. Do you put any oil or butter on the turkey? You could. Um, it, it does help some of the seasoning to stick on. But again, you know what? If you're not eating the turkey skin, the main thing is to get the flavor to the meat. Now, I'm going to stuff the cavities with a couple things, all right? I've got an onion here. 
All right, I'm just gonna chop this up in quarters and we're gonna put, I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, so we've got one onion. I've got an apple here. So we're gonna do the same for this. Just gonna cut it in half and let's put our onion or our apple in here. Check this out, Mayor. These are the last of the herbs from the herb garden outside. I've got some rosemary, I've got some fresh sage and some thyme and you know what? I'm gonna just stuff all that in here. How's that? And then finally, I like a little bit of a citrus. So I've got a lemon here and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna just cut this lemon. Kind of downsize it a little bit. Now, what this will do is this will also, I'm going to actually squeeze some of this on the, the bird. This will not only give a nice little flavor, infuse the turkey, but it will also, you know, what we want is the juices that are going to be created from this turkey. So, let me see if we can get this lemon in here. Now, I'm going to just do a quick hand wash here. And the bird is pretty much ready to go into the bag. So what we're going to do is we need to put a little bit of flour in the bag. Um, that will also help when it's time for uh, the juices, right, and turning it into gravy. So. Now, if you have a if you have a helper in the kitchen, sometimes it's good to put uh, put that person to work a little bit. And I'm usually the helper, <laughs> but I have to work the camera you today. Have to work the camera. Marianne's usually my sous chef for these big dinners. I'm putting in about two tablespoons of just flour in this bag, and I'm going to give it a little shake. Okay. All right, now, let me just get this out of the way. Look at that. So, I've got a roasting pan here, no rack, okay? okay. We're gonna put the bird directly into the bag and the bag is actually gonna sit in the pan, like so. So anyways, this is kind of where it helps to have a helper or I'm really getting my work out here holding this bird in and there it goes okay so the bird is in the bag as they say Let's get this down then what we're going to do is we're going to take somewhere I've got a twist there it is he bagged a bird. Bagged the bird. We got our little twist tie here. This is all stuff that won't melt in a 375 degree oven. When you buy the bag, it comes with these little ties. Again, you know, two two main reasons for doing it this way. One, I want I want to do the bird ahead of time. Anyways, just for my own convenience and sanity uh, the morning of uh, the meal and then the other thing is it's going to that bag is going to hold the moisture in around the bird so Mary you know how you would like baste you know we'd be basting, yes. basting the turkey no need to baste it because really it's going to baste itself inside that bag and the uh, bag is going to keep all the fat which is really the skin from splattering all over inside the oven. And it's going to be nice and juicy. And nice and juicy, you'll see. So, um, I usually cut about a half a dozen little slits because you have to let some of the steam escape. Um, otherwise, the <laughs> you're going to have a balloon inside of your oven. Um, now before I put this in, and 
you know, you probably know this or you've heard this, that when you're cooking a turkey, the temperature of the meat is important, that it needs to cook to a certain point. So some people say 165, some people say 175. Um, I go in between and say 170. So you can do it two ways. You can use a meat thermometer that kind of has the big dial on it. I have one of these remote thermometers, which I really like, um, which basically you stick this in the bird and this comes outside of the oven so that I can see what the temp internal temperature of the turkey is without opening the oven door. So I'm gonna go through one of my slits here that I made and I'm going to put this into the thickest, thick part of the thigh of the turkey. And there we go. And then I'm going to open this. I put the rack kind of on the lower position here. And I'm going to close our oven door. And I will plug this into my monitor here. It's 39 degrees. So we've got a ways to go before we get to 170. Um, it'll be, you know, probably a few hours. Uh, so we will keep an eye on it. And the house will be smelling wonderful. And we'll be back here with our roast turkey in a bag Thanksgiving in advance. All right, so you know what? The turkey is ready to come out, and oh my gosh, Mayor, how does the, smell, the house smell, isn't it? Smells fantastic. <laughs> you know how they make scented candles with all these like fruity smells and spice? They should make a turkey scented mm -hmm. candle. I think that would be awesome. The whole smell, the house smells wonderful with the roast turkey. We're going to take it out. I'm going to take out my probe here. We were uh, at over 180, so... We are in good shape. And the other thing is, with these bags, by the way, um, look at the oven. Still clean. Still clean. Okay. So, um, and I really do think that the turkey cooks quicker in the bag than it does without the bag. And I don't know if it's because it holds so much of the heat in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, all right, I'm just going to cut this open because we want the turkey to cool. Be very careful when you do this because obviously... You'll get a turkey facial. You will, and there's a lot of steam. But hey, look at this bird. Look at that. Look at that beautiful bird. Huh? Two hours, 15 minutes at 375 degrees. And the... The lemons and the onion and those uh, herbs that we put in there mm, smell so good. So obviously what we're going to have to do is just let this thing cool down. So I think I've got it fairly uncovered. We'll just let it keep filling the house with that wonderful roasted turkey smell. And then what I'm going to do is once it's nice and cool, then we'll carve it up and get it ready uh, to tuck in the refrigerator. But guess what, folks? Our turkey is done, so we'll be back later. Okay, we're peeling it back, Mayor. And you see all that nice juice down there? I don't know if you can get in with the camera, but look at that. Okay, there's our nice turkey broth. Um, so, Gosh, I've let it cool for a good hour. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now carve the turkey up. I'm going to put it in this foil pan. Got some turkey stock. And I use a little of the, the natural uh, broth here, juice that was created from when the turkey cooked. But look how beautiful it's done. You can see how the drumstick has sort of pulled back from the body of the turkey. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off these, the drumstick here and we're going to, the drumstick is one piece of the bird that I leave whole.
because somebody really likes it. We know who that is, don't we? We sure Mr. do. Mr. Ralph likes his drumstick. So, there we go. So he's finding the, the joint. Hopefully he'll get the drumstick before anybody else does. Yeah, la <laughs> last year we... Um, of course, I, I carved the drumstick off for him, just for him, and one of the other people at the party, who I guess also likes drumsticks, this is us, powerful, there we go, who also likes drumsticks, um, nabbed it first. Now what I'm going to do is, I'll get in there, we'll cut, we've got the thigh under here, but I just want people to see how beautiful this turkey comes out and I'm going to take the extra skin off here look at this thigh meat look how beautiful that is and so what I'm going to do so tender and the word is succulent and I'll tell you mm, oh my gosh it's so good um, what I try to do is in the pan kind of put the dark meat on one side and the white meat on the other side. Now the breast, I kind of go along the breast bone here with the knife down to the front and you can feel where the meat sort of pulls away. And we'll just go straight down with it. There we go. Straight down straight down and get it on that joint right there and we'll pull this off so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue to carve it up here and here's a better shot of the, all the juices yeah look at that So here we've got our beautiful breast meat of turkey and look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So I'm going to carve this up. We'll get the whole turkey carved and we'll come back. This pan will be about full. Um, and then again, I said it earlier, all I have to do is drop this pan in the hot oven when my dressing's cooking and some of my other sides, put this in the oven, let it warm through, it'll be in the broth, and then you know what? Put this beautiful sliced turkey and drumsticks out on a big platter, and we're ready for Thanksgiving. Look at this. pan o turkey I got one wing left to do here. So, you know, some parts of the turkey you just gotta kind of do by hand, like like the wing, um, and we just pull it apart. You know, turkeys, no matter you know what kind they are, frozen, fresh, all, all turkeys are pretty much built the same, and there is a lot of stuff on a turkey that you cannot use um, that gets tossed away, whether it be skin or bone or cartilage and fat or some people eat the skin some people do um, what I do is these are all the parts leftover parts of the turkey even the stuff we had inside the the herbs and the onions okay I'm gonna cover this with water and we will simmer this for a little while and we will make a delicious base for turkey soup so nothing goes to waste um, but look at this is all the turkey meat all carved. I got dark meat over here, white meat over here. It's beautiful. I'm going to uh, take my turkey stock here and what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a little bath here and then we'll cover it with some foil. I also like to kind of put in Oh, maybe um, maybe a couple spoonfuls. Look at this, Mayor, of our just wonderful turkey juices. 
put that somewhere in there and we're good so what I'm gonna do now is wash my hands but People say, have asked me, like, well, how much turkey should I get? Here's what I plan for. Because you've got so much waste um, that actually weighs a lot, I figure a pound per person. Um, so if you're having, you know, a dozen people over, get a 12 or a 13 pound turkey. And the other thing is, that gives you a little wiggle room. If you definitely want leftovers, get an extra pound or two on top of that. Or if, the, if you have big eaters coming over. Yes, if, like we're having. Um, so leftovers aren't always guaranteed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cover on this. And this will go in the refrigerator. And again, all I have to do is sort of warm it up. And my turkey is done. So, you know what? This is a shortcut that we take over here, getting ready for Thanksgiving. Um, anytime you're making a turkey, don't tell anybody, but there have been times when I've made a turkey two weeks ahead of time. And instead of putting it in the fridge, I put it in the freezer. Um, and then just take it out a couple days ahead of time and transfer it to the fridge and let it thaw. Um, but it is a wonderful shortcut if you are either a going to be pressed for time the day of the big party or you got one small oven and you've got 18 things that need to go in and um, you don't want to tie it up all day with your big bird so this is what we do had a great time doing this turkey thank you sister for you're helping welcome. out with the camera you're welcome and um hope you had a great time being with us and we'll see you next time here on cavalcade of food bye bye